Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another beautiful day in the UK. Gonna hit 28 degrees today and we're kind of early September. So lucky to run in a place like this. It's called Botley Mansions. Probably seen it in a few videos. So today I just wanted to talk about listening to your body. You know, it's very easy when you kind of come back from injury, like myself. You know, I hurt my ankle, and then got a bug, then hurt my back. But it's just very easy just to jump straight back into things and try and make up for lost time. You know, we all do it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Obviously, it you know, puts us back to where we started again. So last week was my first, you know, four week running. Help Chris, and here we are running on the Sunday. Because uh, it's something I'd promised him and something I wanted to do. Um, body felt fine, but then just overdid it a bit on the kind of the Monday and the Tuesday. You know, my body told me it was aching, I was feeling tired, and I took, took the decision to, you know, take a day off. Um, and then the next few days, the body wasn't feeling great. Um, and then I had the opportunity to go out with uh, James on the Saturday, which you know, I've been waiting for this opportunity for ages. I'd never reached out to him, but you know, I felt that I was, you know, fit enough. And I'd run okay, struggled a bit towards the end. Uh, but to be honest, it was also to do with the humidity. You know, it was 93%. I do struggle to run in uh, that sort of humidity anyway. That's kind of one of my uh, weak points. But getting back to listening to the body, you know, as we get older, um, as you may or may not know, that you know we do wake up with aches and pains and you know that someday might wake up and it might hurt here there but once I go for a run you know half a mile mile in they kind of disappear so it's kind of learning what's the difference between that and a, you know and a possible injury or overdoing it so it does take us a uh, probably a couple of injuries and realizing that you know every time we get injured we do start again you know all that hard work that we put in you know down the pan if you do feel a little niggle, you know, take a day off. You know, if your body is tired, take time off. You know, there isn't any race at the moment. I know it's difficult when you are training for say, a marathon or a half marathon and you put the end, you know, the effort in. But the main important thing is to get on that start line. It's just kind of a lesson that I've learned the kind of hard way. I've had three Achilles injuries now and you know, the tendonitis, it's still there a little bit, but you know, when I went to the uh, osteopath and, and, and the specialist, they said, you know, that, that when you pinch it, it might, might still hurt, but you know, does it hurt when I run? No. So, you know, there will be some little niggles here and there, which unfortunately, you know, will kind of stay with you. But, you know, if you are feeling, you know, tired and knackered, it's better just to take time off rather than kind of, you know, just slog through it and just hopefully, you know, hope it's going to improve because it, it probably won't so I know it's only a kind of short video but I just wanted to kind of get it out there because uh, I had had some comments you know people say you know take it easy you know you've made me realize um, so if I can help you know just one person stop them from getting injured so if you are feeling a bit down just take time off you know it's better to be able to run tomorrow than you know the next day than it is to, you know, be injured. So, you know, let me know in the comments if you, you know, listen to your body or do you run through it. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.